Hello and welcome to your Active's EU Tweets of the Week. And it's a special this week. He kept us hanging on like a yo-yo. In the end, it happened in slow-mo, but eventually Bojo had to go-go. So long, farewell, I'll be to saying goodbye. What's that noise? Yep, it's the sound of 70,000 champagne corks popping in Brussels at the news that Boris Johnson's time is finally up as British Prime Minister. The move came yesterday morning after Bojo desperately tried to cling on to power despite not one, not two, not four, not 40, but 59 of his ministers resigning. Unprecedented, remarked Dave Keating. That's an understatement. The previous record was just six. So many resignation letters that they made a sodding word cloud, commented Alex Wilkes. Can the ministers who have not yet resigned from the government now be characterised as Remainers, snarked Ole Ryborg. Breaking thousands of work events, are reported across the UK, joked have I got news for you. Are we um, having a farewell party? Asking for a friend, tweeted DG Meme. Hell yes we are. Although we've got a very limited consumption of alcohol here at the Commission, said a spokesman when asked if they'll be celebrating Boris Johnson's departure. Quick flashback to NATO in March when we saw how many friends Johnson really had among world leaders. Safe to say he won't be missed. But Burley Monster reminded us that one of that lot will take his place. <coughs> the view from Dublin is pretty clear. Anyone but Liz Truss. A lot of media reported that Johnson was leaving behind a power vacuum at the top of the Tory party. Paul Dallison asked, reasonably, to be fair, could a vacuum cleaner as Prime Minister be much worse? Shauna Murray asked, why do TV pundits in Britain keep saying Boris Johnson got Brexit done as if a, true, or B, an accomplishment. Jacob Rees-Mogg blames EU for inability to flush Boris Johnson away. Our toilets aren't powerful enough, thanks to Brussels red tape, joked Le Choux. But Alex Taylor was more sombre. The man has gone in a day, but it will take a generation to undo the damage he's done to the UK's economy and reputation. You see those people being proved completely and catastrophically correct by Boris Johnson. Just you wait until you hear what we said about Brexit, tweeted James O'Brien. Boris Johnson's reign ends in disgrace, just like his friend Donald Trump. The end of an era of transatlantic populism? Let's hope so, tweeted Giver Hofstadt. Well, he might have given us lies, scandal after scandal, Brexit and a cost of living crisis, but he was also indirectly responsible for these legends. So cheerio, Boris. You won't be missed. What's that? He plans to stay on as a caretaker PM. <laughs> That's it for this season of Tweets of the Week. Join Sean next Friday for an extra special recap of the last six months. And I'll be back in September with more japes and scrapes in the Brussels bubble Twittersphere. <laughs>